Oh, very. Yeah, yeah. You're kind of you're kind of blowing my mind with everything you're saying, um, <laughs> because you know we we talk to so many people on this podcast about like the business side of stuff, and they're and they're I kind of already know the answers to a lot of it. I just I know the listeners want to know, and I don't think that I could have guessed anything that you're going to tell me. So this is, this is pretty cool. <laughs> oh no, man, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, so I, it's all a cheat code, dude. I, I, I have a, I have a, I have a big secret cheat. What's well, not even a secret. I have a, I have a big giant ZB shaped cheat code. Uh, I met Kane and <laughs> Kane and saw me because he came to it. He came to Zach's show at the Ryman and I got to open it. Uh, and, and that's how he heard my music. He, and that's, that's how we connected. So like, I, yeah. it's all, I, I owe so much, so much yeah. to, to Zach it's 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 a lot it's a lot of luck dude all I think all it takes is exposure and I've been very blessed to to get a lot yeah. of it okay well that is that is your that is your last humble comment that you get for this entire podcast <laughs> Mr. that's a, you're right you're right <laughs> no, okay, so I'm, gonna pick it, your, I'm gonna pick your brain about um um uh, streaming n- not necessarily numbers but kind of the mm-hmm. financial side of it so people like to talk shit a lot on Apple Music and Spotify and that kind of stuff. Um, being mm-hmm. a songwriter yourself, being somebody that has written, written past tense, um, the the majority of your songs by yourself. I imagine things like Apple Music and Spotify are actually very nice to a songwriter like you, um, that owns all of your lyrics and you know, from what I know at least. Um, what are your thoughts on streaming payouts and and and, and things like that? So another weird place for me because I do fine. Like my, my yeah, I'm, that's what I figured. I'm, yeah, I don't want to fuss at them. Thank you guys. You're getting the great people, Mr. Spotify and Mr. Apple Music. Thank you for your help. Like I'm not, <laughs> please, I'm not please don't lower my I'm rates, please. <laughs> I'm very blessed. Uh, I here's the thing. Like realistically, it's it's absolute robbery. What what they do, absolutely. If and this is this is across the board. This is so many of my friends. If if my music had reached the same amount of people that it has reached today in 1980, I would be so rich. And so many of my friends would be so rich because you have to pay for it. But now we give it away for free. And that's Come fine. To make a penny. <laughs> yeah, like that's and that's fine. At the end of the day, I like I say, I am not the one who needs to complain i'm 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 beyond blessed and taken care of i i I don't mind but they are it's it's robbery and they should like it it should well and what's funny is i thought that again i didn't know i i I couldn't i couldn't predict your your answer but i figured that because as for somebody like you i figured like you didn't have anything to complain about with them. You're just like, man, I, I get a pretty decent amount of money. Cause like I'm the writer on my own songs and they're, they're yeah, I wrote great, all of my but, songs. So I don't but, have to like split any of the royalties. But, yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. You know, me. you have, you have two people that usually complain about songwriting or a spot up, you know, Spotify payout, streaming payouts. And it's usually a, somebody that had four writers on a song and they only yeah. get a percentage of a percentage of a whatever, or you have somebody that, that hasn't got their music out on streaming platforms very in in wide ranges yet those are the two people that typically complain about spotify